Hi everyone, it's Steven Schleicher, and in this video I want to show you one of the cool new tools of Cinema 4D R17 that will really help those of you who are doing 3D compositing with live action footage. With the release of Cinema 4D R16, users had the ability to import video and image sequences into the application and use the built-in motion tracker to track the footage and instantly add 3D elements to the scene. It was a great addition, but if you were using footage shot with a wide angle or fisheye lens, Aligning those 3D elements was a bit tricky. Maxon has addressed this problem with the introduction of the Lens Distortion Tool. Those pesky curved lines that are supposed to be straight are now a thing of the past. While it is recommended that you use a lens grid to create a lens profile for Cinema 4D to use, we hardly live in an ideal world. We do, however, live in a world that has a lot of straight lines. Take this brick wall, for example. With a lot of horizontal and vertical lines present, we can use this image, shot with a GoPro Hero 4, to create a camera profile that we can use when running a camera solve inside the Cinema 4D motion tracker. Begin by loading the lens grid or other image into Cinema 4D. Then, click on the Add Endpoint Line button. This will add a three-point line to the scene that you can move around to follow the curve of the lines in this shot. All you need to do is click on the dots of the inline and reposition them along the straight edge in the scene. While three points is a good beginning, adding additional points to the line will smooth the curve and improve accuracy while creating the camera profile. To add additional points, hold the command key and click on the line where you want a point to appear. You can then reposition that point and make the line even smoother. One line should work in most cases, but if you want to improve accuracy even further, Hold down the command key and drag a copy of the line to a new position and tweak those points to follow the curvature in the scene. Once you're comfortable with the position of your inlines, you can then select your lens type from the lens distortion model. If you don't know what type of lens was used, simply cycle through them and find the one that works best. Click on the auto solve button and you will see the image is now undistorted. If you're satisfied with the results, you can save the lens profile and use it when tracking footage using Cinema 4D R17's motion tracker or when adding 3D elements back to your original footage. Ideally, anytime I now go out and shoot anything with my GoPro Hero 4, this same camera profile can be used. The lens distortion tool is one of those super useful tools that allows me to not worry about shooting a lens grid ever again. Until I use a different camera. More and more, video is being shot on smaller cameras with built-in lenses with wider angles of view. Instead of spending a lot of time fixing the footage to work with our 3D elements, we can now embrace the native focal length of our camera to tell our story. If you want to learn more about motion tracking in Cinema 4D R17, be on the lookout for a new video coming soon. If you have any comments, use the comment section below and subscribe to this channel so when those new videos arrive, you are notified instantaneously. Until next time, Take care.